Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We are now live. We have just literally taken undercover because there's a, a wee rain shower has just come over. So we've just sneaked under under our, our bar at the moment. We have a little friend with us, as you can see. I'm here with my father, Bobby Lennox, and I've got my husband, Doogie, and I am Kay Wilson. Thank you for joining us. If you can let us know where you're coming from, that would be great to see you and hear where you're from. We're just going to start our tour in a couple of minutes. We're just going to let a few more people join us. I know you're awfully excited. This wee, this wee one is going to come over to uh, Shandron Farm and we're going to go across to the farm with it. And we're going to find it a new mummy. Hi, Janet. That's Janet Baker, Dad on. Hi, Hi there. How are you? Hi, Janet. Hi, Roger. All the way from Massachusetts. So you are in Bonnie Loch Lomond today. Not as bonny as it's been the last uh, few weeks. We've had beautiful, stunning weather. But we actually, as we all know, we need a little bit of rain every now and then to uh, make this place as beautiful and luscious and green as we like it to be. So today, as I've mentioned, I don't know if you've seen the trailer, we have been filming this morning with BBC Landward and just a few moments ago we were a little bit late getting over here because we had a ewe lambing that needed assistance and JJ Chalmers, the presenter, has actually delivered his first lamb. So we've got that footage on my camera and we're going to share that straight after if you want to jump onto our Lennox of Lowen page to see that. So I'm just going to shoot you around and I'm going to show you the view from here. I know. So this is us looking all the way down into, that's the conic in Loch Lomond. And right all the way down, the, we're on the, the fault line just now from the Highlands. So technically we are in the Highlands right now. So that big island right in front of you, behind that tree here, that's Inchmurrin. Then we've got Torrench, Creinch and Inchkailach and the conic. And that together is the fault line for the Highlands between the Lowlands. So we're just going to make a wee start. I'm just going to come out and brave the rain. So as I said earlier, I'm here with my husband Doogie and my father Bobby and our beautiful, <laughs> our beautiful lamb. And if you can maybe give us some maybe pet lamb suggestions, this is going to be a wee pet for a couple of days maybe. I'd love to hear some suggestions what we could call this lovely little girl. Beautiful face markings. So at the moment, we're just going to give you a really quick look at these barns because um, we're, we're doing another tour next week, but we're actually fully booked as of tomorrow for all our barns. So we wouldn't let you get, we couldn't get you in. So we just thought we'll uh, give you a quick uh, show round. These are our Bonnie barns. So we have um, designed and built these. And my very clever husband, Diggy, who I don't like to tell him too often because he gets big headed. <laughs> He has designed and he manufactures these actually in the lambing shed. So that's great. So we're going to have a quick peek inside before we move in. So they're all fully, fully kitted out. Nice big open plan, big king size bed, lovely big sofa. And I'm just going to sneak in and beautiful big view from the glass, the glass doors and windows. And we have a lovely um, big ensuite bathroom, which is great. So our guests are loving these. These are just for two adult sharing. So it's a really nice romantic kind of breakaway. And of course, we've got a lovely two person hot tub where you can just sit here, sip your champagne, watching the stars go by at night. OK, so we're going to move on. and We're going to show you some more lammies because this wee guy is going to want to find a new mummy soon so we're gonna say goodbye to Dougal Bye -bye. and we're gonna jump in the car really quickly and this is the great thing about our site is that the fields surround it so we've got some lovely new babies and lammies here actually they were actually in the pod site the other day which was not so great this is our third barn that we're currently just finishing off just now and it'll be open to run from we're hoping August time 
Dougie won't let me open up the dates yet because he's too scared that uh, we sell it before <laughs> we sell the dates before we're ready. So I'm just going to jump in the car and I'll flick the camera around for you. And I'll take the lamb, this will be interesting, phone, lamb and seatbelts. So yeah, let me know where you're from. We're just going to take it, it's literally a wee minute detour across the road. Anyone that's been here before will know that we um, have the two farms close together. So a little bit about the farm is it's a 5,000 acre hill sheep farm and we've been tenants here since the 1750s together and just showcasing beautiful Scottish scenery and our Scottish produce from our farms which is really important. I think we all recognise that over lockdown um, in the last year that we've had that um, farmers and lots of other industries play a really vital role um, really right, vital role for us. So we're just going to jump over the road. So if um, there's just some cars coming so part of Go Rural is that um, there's a really wicked competition out just now and we are actually providing the prize this time so you get to come along on a quad bike trailer tour on our farm so if you want some more information about that please go to the Go Rural um, website so it's gorural.com if you could go to that that would be superb and find out how you can have a chance to win so what we're going to do is we're going to park up close to the shed then we're going to go pop up to the shed and I think you're going to get a chance to see the film crew who will be there waiting for us uh, hopefully they're not going to put me on the spot but I've got a funny feeling that they might just do that we're going to take a quick peek at our sheep in the shed and some new baby lammies and then we're going to jump in the quad bike trailer tour where we are going to um, go around the field and get you up close to some sheep and lambs so this is the kind of typical tour that you would get um, if you come to one of our lambing tours and we are actually doing our lambing tour start um, started at the weekend there and we've got our next tour on Wednesday night so we've got the next lot of group coming and this is where we will take them into the shed and have a look at the lammies and then we're gonna go on the quad bike trailer tour and around the field so it's great to be able to share that with everybody so I'm going to flick the camera around now. So this is us. You are welcome to the lambing sheds at Shantron. And here we are, somebody filming us, filming you. What could go wrong on live, eh? So this is Dad. This is what we're going to just call the wee pet lamb pen. And anyone who came along to our tours um, pre-COVID, this was what we ended up calling the cuddle corner. So we ended up having lots of lovely lammies and pet lambs to feed. So what I'm going to do to start, we're just going to take a wee wander down and see. And as I mentioned a minute ago, this is the mummy. Has she had her second lamb yet? No, not yet. Oh, we might get a live Poison birth. Ready. Poison ready. <laughs> Here is JJ. Ready to jump in if I have to. Yeah, he's already been in and performed wonderfully. If you follow us on Facebook you'll get a chance to see that we're going to pop that video up later this lammy was literally born at five minutes to one and uh, she should be ready hopefully in the next let's hope five ten minutes to produce a lamb if not we'll give her a wee help just to make sure everything's okay so just remember this is an interactive tour so if you've got any questions um, obviously you've been watching lots of lambing tours before but we might do things a little bit differently so please feel free if you see anything or you want to ask us anything that would be great so as you can expect this is what we were going to call the labour suite and then once they've had their babies we pop the mums and lambs into the individual pens which we'll go and let you have a look at um, in a wee minute so at the moment there's not much else happening apart from the other that mum we just saw hello <laughs> and i'm going to spin back round and we'll go and have a look at the other side i know it's kicking off that's hilarious so dad's just moving the quad bike so we can get ready for our trailer tour but these sheep know that when they hear the quad bike that man brings them food but not just now ladies you'll just have to wait another wee while for your dinner so this is something that we'll do on a regular basis while doing all the other jobs. 
we'll end up doing the feeding and we'll keep bedding them we'll keep looking after the babies and we'll move them just got an escapee lamb now this could be wonderful footage trying to catch this lamb but we'll get him in a wee minute we'll get dad i'll just come and get this wee guy in so we've got lots of lovely babies here Here is some new babies. And what we do is we have a little whiteboard system. So when the lammies are born, we're gonna pop them into the pens and we write down the date they were born, how many they have, and at what time they're born. And this just lets us keep an eye on what's happening with the babies and the mums. So there's simple checks that we do once they come into the pen. We're gonna check the mummy's milk and we're going to check the lambs and the lambs are feeding i've got a question here how many sheep do do i'm um, sorry how many sheep do you lamb so we have 1100 black faced sheep and majority of them are pregnant so we should hopefully have about a thousand a thousand odd lambs with us being a hill sheep farm we don't generally want triplets because the, it's a much harder terrain for the lambs and sheep to deal with. So we would much prefer singles and twins and because the mothers can cope with that better. And sometimes in some cases, twins sometimes is too much for them. So we'd prefer them just to have the one. So for us, the blue mark on their back is for one and the orange mark on their back is for two. And we ultra scan in February. As you would do, you'd go to the hospital. These guys all just get lined up and uh, we have a specialist comes in to do that for us. Yes, and there is no birthing pool. Oh, I have a question. I have a question. Do you? So how old are these little ones? Uh, Which ones here? Said it, yeah. yeah, so these guys were born on the 24th. So they are just a couple days. And I'm just wondering why was she... If she was outside, sometimes she doesn't take one of her lambs. So she's been brought back in twice because she's not accepting one of her lambs. All right, so just in case you didn't hear that, what Dad was saying with this one, normally the sheep come into these pens and they're in for a day, all going well, they go out. But this one here kept leaving one of our lambs behind. So we just brought her back in to mother them up again, letting her remember that she's a mother of two and, uh, and hopefully that they'll be going out pretty soon. And these guys here were just born yesterday um, afternoon. So the, if the weather was a bit better this morning and sunny, we might have put them out this morning but it's a wee bit damp and drizzly we'll just give them another maybe another day and and we're not actually overly busy if you look we actually have some empty spaces which is quite quite nice so how long until all these lambs have have, have birth so how long until the lambs are yeah to all these so basically we know that we put the tops out with the with the sheep in a three-week period so we know that within a three-week period we should have all the lambs we should have busy a busy yeah three weeks so the sheep the sheep will cycle um every three weeks every 17 days they just keep cycling until they get pregnant so obviously um hopefully within the next well we've got another two weeks left to go to tails down we'll get a nice big peak it'll peak up really high and then it'll drop back down so we usually get a really busy few days don't we yeah, and by the seven tenths of the day will be finished. How yep. much sleep do you get within that period of time? <laughs> well, Dad's been, well, we kind of bred many years ago for kind of easier lambing, and so these sheep don't actually need a huge amount of intervention. Um, so these should just lamb on their own. So we are out usually about midnight, one o'clock in the morning and doing a check, and then Mum will come out and check this shed at six o'clock, and I'll go and check our shed at six o'clock, and Doogie and Dad do that late shift to allow us to go to bed a little bit earlier. That's usually usually how it works. Well, up in the shed, so you can actually watch them on your phone from in the house. So if I'm working in the office, I don't need to run out every hour or two hours to check. You know, yeah, so just keep on checking. The what Dad was just saying there, this year we just installed um, a new camera in the shed. You can just see it up here. And this has actually made a huge, huge difference for us um, because you can maybe be out here and you've noticed one lambing, but it's time to try and get some food or you've got to go and move some sheep or you're popping across to the other farm. So what you can do is you can just keep checking on your phone to see how she's progressing. And if she's not, we'll come over and, and get out here and sort it. So it's actually been a really, really helpful tool for us. My mum actually just likes to, it's got a speaker on it. Uh, mum just likes to shout messages at me through the shed. 
So if I haven't uh, made it clear, we have uh, Landward here today, um, and it's been a it's been a really great morning um, filming with them, and they're here just want to talk about the really um, great thing that Go Rural have been doing and welcoming people to the farms in our um, live streaming. So it's great you guys get to be part of that today. So if you've got any questions, just let me know. But we're going to make our way back up because Dad wants to show you a little bit about what we do with our recorded flocks. So you'll have seen it in other farms. So we have been doing genetic recording um, since the 80s. So looking to kind of breed in good mothering instinct because that will allow the lamb to, um, to feed really well. And I have just noticed in all the commotion, this sheep has just dropped out her lammy. And really quietly she's done it. And look, you can see her pawing at the ground. This is her just way of just saying, move baby, wake up baby, but we can see he's breathing away. While the other lamb is now up looking for milk. Nature is a wonderful thing. And I think we've got maybe two boy lambs. I can't see if it's got horns. So the black-faced sheep, um, there's really incredible that they are born with, the boys are born with their horns. So I'm going to get Dad to show you this lamb. This was, every year we have a kind of competition who has the biggest horns. And uh, this chap right here, I had one yesterday and I was very smug about, uh, about it. So I'm just going to check out the size of those. They, that's literally just a day old, this lamb, and this is how he came out. So if I had two hands, I would applaud you because that is, that's quite a brutal birth. So we've got a very happy mummy of two now. And what we would do is we would give her a wee minute. Uh, yes, Fernando, wow is one word for it. So what we would normally do is we'd give her a wee minute in here just to mother up, and then we would get her moved across here into the individual pens and that's where we would then um, give them their iodine for their for their belly buttons and their navels and just check over the mum to make sure she's okay and then that's just somewhere again what I was saying is we just keep an eye on them. Um, what tups do you put out with the ewes? That's a good question. Um, what we do is we do part of our genetic recording is we're a completely closed flock so we only use our own homebred tups here um, and that way we know what genetics we're putting across on the sheep and the ewes. So we select certain tops with the certain attributes that we want and we make sure that goes across certain or the certain amount of the ewes um, that we have to make sure we're looking for that. Okay. You want to have a go with that tagging, Dad, or you right, want to yeah. grab that just now? Right, so I'm just gonna have a wee quick flick back. Yeah, so thank you again for joining us today, everyone. I'm just flicking you back to see if we've got any questions. We've got a few folks shouting out saying, hi, Landward. <laughs> They're waving. Sorry. There's Sorry. Uh, a few people just shouting out on the post here saying, hi, Landward. Hi, everyone Hello. at Landward. Hello. JJ, <laughs> get in there. How amazing is this? <laughs> <laughs> Fascinating. Been absolutely brilliant. I think we've got JJ coming up to do some dry stone diking soon as well. This, telling us he's got lots of love, skills. I love getting my hands dirty. That's it. That's why I got stuck in today. I tell you the thing that's most amazing. Well, nature. At the fact that this little lamb that I'm calling Larry that I helped deliver like 15 minutes ago is already walking. That takes a, a human being like a year to do that. Um, instantly going over looking for food. Uh, yeah, I mean, and you didn't even flinch once when I said, "Right, come on in and do it," and you well, just went, "Well, why I, not?" I, I love literally getting my hands dirty on this occasion. But yeah, yeah, I just why would you pass up the opportunity to this? I mean, you, you, I'm very lucky to get to come here and do it in the flesh, yeah, or in the wool. Yeah. Oh, there you are, in the wool. Very good. That's great. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to just stand here, and Dad is already primed. So I'm going to flick you back round now. Here we are. Right, you can see the Hold on, two seconds, Dad. I'm just going to move the mic over just so we can pick you up. Hopefully, the sound's okay for you all. Right, the, re the recorded sheep we've got, if you see in the rear tags, you'll see the recorded ones have got much bigger tags in the ear. So we know the sheep that are recorded got a number. 
It's also got an electronic tag on it, so I just need to click to read it. Picks up the sheep's number. Stick it on. Put the ram that it goes with. That one. As an unknown ram, which means we didn't see it at mating times, it's been mated with somebody that we don't know. So that's recorded anyway. And then we put the mic back on. There we go. Splendid. Now this is the tags. They've got, all, all the sheep have got to be tagged at some point in the first six months of life. Anyway, so the recorded ones, we tag them at birth. And that's an electronic tag in that one. Yep. And the other year, here's the tag. That's that done. And then we can zap the tag of the lamb. That records it. So okay, that's a female lamb, so put it in as a female and weight is about four and a half kilograms. And that's that all recorded. And once you've done quite a lot, you very quickly can accurately guess within half a kilogram of the weight of the lamb. So I don't normally use scales unless it's a very big lamb or a very small lamb. But that record is all recorded up now uh, and you can check it up. I can go into this machine here and look up at any information I want about it, who its father was, grandmother was, all that sort of information. Sweet. Right, I'll hand you back to Kate. Thanks very much, Dad. And we're just about ready. What we're going to do is we are going to take you on our quad bike trailer tour and we are going to um, pop round the fields and show you some of our lambs that were born over the last week. It's quite a quick process having it all done in three weeks, um, but it's great to see all the lammies out playing in the field. That's great. So we're just going to go and jump on the quad bike trailer tour just now. And I think we might see these yeah. guys out in the field in a wee minute. So this is new to the farm last year. Uh, somebody's asking, where is Anne? Mum, I think, is over in the other sheds um, helping us, because I'm over here doing this. So I'm going to climb in. There we go. There we are. And then Dad will just get on. So the great thing about this, um, I'll just flick it around to me for a second. Hello. So the great thing about um, this tour is because of the, the trailer, the, the tires that we have on it, and it's on the quad bike, we can cover a huge bit of ground here. So we've had some really great tours um, when we came out of lockdown last year, uh, to get to take people around the farm. And I have to say, we all quite enjoy having a wee go in it as well. So I'll flick you back round again. So it's really great to get out and see the sights and these are basically our lowest ground fields that we have we have two flatter fields that we would use for silage and that's enough that will do us um, and our, our animals for the year so that's us looking down across the Inchmurran and we'll get a good view when I go across to show you in a ballot towards Glasgow. So our position is we are about 30 minutes north of Glasgow, um, which is great because it's a really easy access. We're about half an hour from the airport. Bit of bump from jump. Jurassic Park theme tune, that's absolutely brilliant. I'll remember that. Maybe we can get some speakers to the trailer. That'd be brilliant. 
So the good thing about the trailer also is we've got a perspex screen, so actually it's not really that windy just now, which is super. And we also put we put a walkie-talkie in here, and Dad will end up um, stopping during the tour or talking on it to the people in the tour. So it's really good to let folk know what's happening when we're here. So I really hope you've all been enjoying the Lamerton tours. Um, it's been really great to take part of this fantastic group. It's just great to be able to interact with everybody. We've missed seeing people on the farm. So it's been such a lovely way to get to see everybody um, and chat away about all things Lamerton. in this field are running away from the quad bike and then the sheep in the other fields ahead of me are running to the quad bike obviously thinking we're going to give them some food. And then we've also got cows here. We've got the 25 suckler cows and we use a breed called Ling. So that's kind of based off the island off of Oban and they're really hardy because of the, the hill ground here. Um, it's, we really need a hardy, hardy breed and they've been doing great and uh, producing some beautiful, beautiful calves. And we have a Charley bull that um, we breed with. See, normally if I was here, I would be getting the gate, but you know, I'm getting let off my duties today, which is super. Doing a great job, Dad. Thanks. <laughs> and we'll just obviously have to shut this gate again make sure we don't um, have these sheep mixing up. We just like to keep them in their separate groups and then each day we walk through the fields. These guys, you can I don't know if you can tell the difference, if you see some of the size of these lambs, these must be one of the first, the first few lambs that were put in the field here. You can see the bigger ones at the front. I just love the black faced lambs, they're just beautiful. Oh, I'm really great. That's a really nice comment. You're enjoying the, um, the live tours. That's great. I've just actually seen some of these. I've missed some of the questions. Sorry, I'll try and do. Um, I'll try and catch back. And if there's any questions I haven't managed to uh, hold on. If there's any questions I've not managed to answer during the tour, um, I'll make sure to answer them um, after straight after. I'll get back to you all. It's a really fun way to get everybody out and around the field and you get to see such a large variety of the farm rather than um, we also do short walking tours but this is a great way in a small group of um, six to eight people we can bring you bring you through and it's great for all ages and um, the kids obviously love it and um, but I think so do the adults too. I'm going to flip you back around to see some sheep. We've got a lot of sheep. There we go. I'm so glad, um, Dawn, that's a lovely comment. Um, it's been well organised because, as you know, we're not um, rehearsed and polished farmers. We are working every day doing what we do. And uh, we love what we do and it's just a really nice way to try and in the half hour slot that we've got is to try and show you everything as much as we can so that you can enjoy it too and maybe one day you'd maybe like to come and visit us. Um, so obviously as you saw at the start of the show we, um, we have glamping barns that we built and designed here so we're hoping to get another five on site. Um, which would be great. That'll be happening in the next in a couple of years. Here is our Charley Bull. And believe it or not, we're so adventurous with our name. His name is Charlie. He's super placid and chilled out, aren't you, love? You are. 
likes to follow us around. And here's some of his lovely ladies. We've got these uh, Ling cattle here. We've got an older blue grey here. But they are looking for some food, aren't you? I love this one's hair at the front. They're brilliant. I love it. Hi, Raphael from Poland. Oh, look at this. Look at here. With holding the gate for us. So what we'll do is we'll just pop back up to the shed before we, we sign off. where I will gracefully climb out of the, the trailer without falling over or catching myself. So thank you so much um, for joining us today. We're going to have a quick look, uh, quick look in this pen again and see. Have you got the lammies still here or have they been moved? Have those wee lammies been moved or are they? That's fine. Yeah, so oh, look, here is the lammies here just now. I'll show you them before we sign off and we'll get a big sign off from everybody. Here's these lovely little babies who were just born, who are still very wet. And there's a really good mummy. She's a pink tag, so she's four years old. That's a really helpful thing for us all. We all can see the different tags tell us what age they are, which has been, it's really good to know what we're working with. So I'll just, um, oh, you enjoyed your tour from Oregon. Thank you so much for joining us. And our cows are lovely. Thank you. So I'll just get Dad. We're just going to sign off just now. And uh, from everyone here, I'm going to flick you back round. <laughs> there is everybody. <laughs> Thank you all so much. It's been a bit of a whirlwind, a bit of a stressful day. Added extras and having Landward here filming, but it's all part of the fun. And thank you again to Go Rural for having us. Um, please tune in tomorrow at 1pm and you'll get to join your next farm tour and remember go onto the Go Rural website where you can try and join in to get the competition. Um, thanks again everybody. Bye. Bye.